Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, before I jump into this video, I just wanted to let you know that uh, I have an email newsletter and you can go to my website, coryfrankcreates.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page and then enter your first and last name, email address. You'll get a confirmation link sent to your email. You may want to check your junk or spam folder in case it goes there. Once you click the confirmation link, you are subscribed for my weekly email newsletter where I give you updates, tips, and share the videos I've created for the week. And then you also will get free access to my Graphite Basics course. So a bit of a perk there. So I'd love if you go ahead and sign up for that. Again, CoreyFrankCreates.com. Scroll to the bottom of the page and go ahead and subscribe to my weekly newsletter. So for today's video, I am doing an Apple drawing on black paper using pastels. So when you have a really dramatic image that has a black background and a lot of shadows and just the object of your image has a bit of color, uh, it works really well on black paper. A very dramatic kind of drawing and it, they can go relatively quickly because if you have your black background already done because the paper is black, then it's just a matter of drawing in the color. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, talk about some tips and things that I did, what the process was. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I'm starting with a white Conte pastel pencil. And you can see I did have a very light graphite drawing down on the black paper, just as a guide. And I'm starting by filling in the lightest areas. So really making the light portion of the apple really stand out. And I started with white, but there is a bit of a yellowish tint to this area of the apple. And I'm sorry that every time my hand goes out of the frame, the color adjusts because my camera was adjusting for lighting <laughs> based on focus. So anyway, apologies for that. But uh, so just making sure that I add some white and then mix in the yellow uh, very lightly in there just to maintain the highlights. And it looks a little washed out right now. Again, that's a little bit of the lighting happening with kind of the camera focus. So at the end, you will see uh, more of what the image actually looks like true to color because I wound up taking a scan of the, of the final drawing. Uh, so that's going to give you a better sense of what it actually looks like. But here we go. So I'm using the Conte Aperi. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. Pastel pencils and then General's pastel chalk. So they're essentially the same chalk and chalk pastel. Uh, so this is the Conte and it's a very deep kind of burgundy. It almost looks kind of fuchsia here, but um, it just adds a very deep red tone. And then I have another one that's a little bit more of an orangey red. You'll notice that you can go over the colors with the lighter colors. So the, um, the pastels are pretty easy to blend going back over the top of each other. However, I did try to, um, when I first was drawing, not lay down too much red and leave some gaps where I could add those kind of yellowy white highlights of the apple. And then you noticed... Um, down at the bottom there, I made a bit of an outline of the shadow that was just with black. And since the black of the pastel is darker than the black of the paper, it's going to create a bit of a shadow. And here I am and I'm adding those highlights. So and you see, I'm smudging uh, with my finger quite a bit. I should probably be using a tissue, but I forgot to grab one. So <laughs> I just used my finger, which is probably ill-advised because the oils from your fingers, you want to avoid getting them on your paper as much as possible. But it's what I did. I just tried to be very quick whenever I blended things out. Again, you'll notice with this, you can get a lot of layering so I kind of have that little highlight line that kind of yellow line that I've had to redraw in a couple times and then going over oops my my blue tack and my paper came away from my blue tack 
I don't think I realized that till a little bit later. So sorry about this. The the drawing, the page are a little crooked. And then I realized, oh, it's coming away from its original position. So I repositioned it. And I will clean up some of that mess on the edge of the paper later. Uh, but just going in with pretty thick layers, uh, making them opaque, trying to cover the full uh, page surface so there's none of the black showing through and then you like I said earlier you can go back over see I have this lovely yellow with the general's pencil I'm just going back over with dots and lines and uh, it shows up really well the highlights on on the apple lower down had a bit of a bluish hue to them and I didn't get it quite as dramatic as I would have liked. I probably could have added more blue. And by the way, if you're curious to see the original reference image, it's linked in the description. It's from unsplash.com and they have copyright free photographs on there uh, from really, really wonderful photographers. So if you're interested in seeing the original, uh, go ahead and find that link in the description. So if you look at the original image, you'll see that it's it's a really it's a dark it's a red apple with a really dark surroundings, and then it's almost like the lower part of the apple almost disappears because it's so dark and in shadow. So I was almost going to kind of just leave it black and realize that that it looked too dis it wasn't continuous. So I went ahead and added that deep kind of burgundy a little bit of a highlight at the bottom, and then just smoothed it out. It made the apple look more like um, a hole rather than just this disembodied top of an apple and then the shadow at the bottom. So there I am filling in the um, black shadow and a little bit of shadowing on the lower part of the apple itself. I cleaned it up with my camoa cloth adding a few more details, blending out some of the lighter reds into the yellows and kind of whitish highlights there. There, I did add a little more blue just to give a little bit that bluish sheen to the light, the highlight. Oops, sorry, my hair dropped into the frame a little bit. So all about layering, uh, just to give it that dimension. And then I did add a signature, and almost always after I add a signature, I notice some things. I realized that edge on the left side of the apple, I hadn't done a very good job of blending. There was actually some more kind of reds and, and uh, yellows coming into there. So I went ahead and fixed that up, added a little more shadowing. And by then I'd move the blue tack, so I had to kind of <laughs> hold the paper down. And then there you see the final scan, so it is ultimately much darker looking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until my next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, God bless, and I'll see you soon.